the tech essentials. So you can edit directly off your iPhone. You can take photos or videos and directly edit off of it because the new iPad Pros have Thunderbolt in them. So you can connect to Thunderbolt accessories, play edit off of it, which is amazing. The college student tech essentials, great for productivity. My favorite SSD, this is Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4. It's the Lissy Rugged Pro SSD. This is the two terabyte variant. It's IP67 dust and water resistant. It's amazing. And then of course, really pretty SSD. The Samsung X5. This one's definitely more durable in, but this one's the one you would want to be seen in the coffee shop with. Budget friendly. Two terabyte T7 SSD is great. It's fast. It's MDMA PCIe. It's predominantly for editing off my iPhone, but it can work on all the devices. It's a low power SSD. The main key distinguisher between these two amazing SSDs and this one, this one is low power, so you can edit directly off your iPhone. This one's also a lot more budget friendly than these two, but this one, so you can edit directly off your iPhone. You can take photos or videos and directly edit off of it using this, which is Apple's camera connection kit adapter. It's a bummer that it's USB-A. That's why I have a USB-A to C cable so I can have the C into the, there and then USB-A. It would be nice if they came out with a C variant. Apple Pencil is important. You kind of need that for your iPad. Now, I'm going old fashioned, the noise canceling earmuffs. But these are amazing. A pair of Sennheiser IE800s, which are amazing. I have a pair of Clips 6 Eyes. These are so amazing that it's like being in a concert when you put them in and they both have really amazing noise isolation. My active noise canceling AirPods Pro, which then gives you amazing noise isolation. Apple AirPods, plug-in headphones, which are all lightning. Then of course, AirPods 2 with wireless charging case. I actually use these more than I generally use my AirPods Pro. I really like these. These are great and amazing and spectacular and very accessibility friendly. Both these are and great for iPad productivity because they have amazing dictation and microphones and things like that. Audio-Technica ATH M50X BTs. BT stands for Bluetooth headphones. They're audio file quality. They really punch way ahead of their price class. They're only $200 and they have the sound quality of a $1,000 pair of headphones in my opinion. And they're very durable and last a long time. The Audio Technica headphones are a standard in the industry for a reason. Audio Technica wireless earbuds, a mini tripod for a phone, and then it clips and then you can stick the phone in. It's wallet size so it fits in your wallet. And then iPhone. And then Rode Lightning Mi L. It's a excellent shotgun microphone but these is the tech essentials as a college student especially in the multimedia program iphone with moment case on it and lens and front cover works well you can prop it up and have it be like a makeshift tripod stand so we have my new ipad pro in the apple magic keyboard case i really like this this is the rode pod mic and then i have a microphone stand attached to it shotgun microphone and trs and trrs adapter cables and then Uni Digi phone mount for your iPhone has cold shoes on the top and quarter 20s and setting up an iPad Pro desk setup. All of the cords and cables go in here. I found multi USB cable. This is amazing. It has all the different cables mini USB, micro USB, USB type C, lightning, USB A. It covers all your charging needs pretty much. It's really inexpensive and budget friendly. A USB C to lightning cord. And then small Thunderbolt cable. So if you're on a tray table working on a video or something like that, or a photo, on, you can have a short cable connecting it. You don't need to have one of these long cables. So it can just be like on the side. I have a USB A to Mini B, three charging bricks, 30 watt and an 18 watt chargers and then charge brick 87 watt charge brick and then the 30 watt charge brick you could charge a 16 inch macbook pro both USB C, apple magic mouse and trackpad these are great for productivity setting up your mobile ipad pro desk setup like yeah guys and then thunderbolt cable two meter one which is amazing because the new ipad pros have thunderbolt in them so you can connect to thunderbolt accessories which is amazing or just charge something really quickly wireless charging battery pack for Qi charging, it has USB-C PD charging and USB-A. Then this is really helpful. It's a USB-C to HDMI 2.1 cable. So you can plug it into and stream right into their TV off your iPad and not have to worry about it. Or it also would work well for any USB-C MacBook Pro. All the accessories here would all work amazingly for the MacBook Pro. And I'll have all the affiliate things linked in the video description. And then this is amazing. It's RAV Power File Hub Plus. It's a mobile router and file hub 
So it allows you to transfer wirelessly and connect to your iPad Pro or iPhone or MacBook Pro or things like that and have a secured wireless network because most places have terrible Wi-Fi, guys. It's like astounding. It's like, ah. But yeah, a lot of times they'll have Ethernet and so you can plug right into that or you can expand the range or make a mesh network between devices or put a card in here and you can stream it to your phone or whatever device you want over Wi-Fi battery pack. This is amazing. I really like this one, but this one's not the one you take around when you're walking around at places. This one's kind of heavy, but it has a display on it to display the power percentage and exact percentage, and it has full speed USB-A ports, and then you have an actual PD charging to charge like 16-inch MacBook Pro, an Apple Silicon Mac or iPad Pro or more than one device, and it has fast Qi charging, and you can do all of them at once, and you can charge your iPad Pro a couple times over. I use the GrillPod 5K because then I can put a lot of weight into it and I don't have to worry about it. And because if you're gonna put your, your iPhone, so you wanna make sure it's protected. And then I have a Joby mount on the top and then lightning to headphone jack adapter, just in case you wanna plug in your audio interface into your iPhone so you can be the, the ultimate iPhone Zoom desk setup or something like that when you're on traveling. And then screen cleaner because you never know when you're gonna need to clean the screen, especially when you're touch screen and you always get it dirty and it's like, ugh. I have another bag which just has microfiber cloth because microfiber cloth, guys, you have to keep everything clean. And then this is amazing. This is my all-time favorite dongle slash adapter. It's the Intec dongle. It has HDMI, VGA, Ethernet, USB-C, and this one has the USB-C split into data and power. So you can power things like the Focusrite 2i2 audio interface or other things like that. And then you can still have it plugged in and it has a surprisingly high throughput. And then it has an UHS-2 certified micro and regular SD card reader, which is amazing. For this price, a BC 1.2 USB-A port and then another USB-A port. These are 3.0 ports and then USB-C and it's a USB-C dongle. It's my favorite. The only thing that beats this in dongleage is my HP Z31X, but that's like a full cinema display monitor that's professional. So this is amazing. Aperture Fleur FL. It's a mobile light. It has really good daylight and Kelvin temperatures and it goes up really slowly up and down and it can be powered over USB-C. That's one of the reasons why I carry this big battery bank because I can power it over USB-C and it has a really good CRI. And if, then you know that's important if for a video maker or film photographer. Lighting is important. And water bottle because you're supposed to keep hydrated. If you get a glass water bottle, it can double as a thermos because you can put hot liquids in it and you won't melt plastic. I really like Life Factory. My favorite mobile Qi charger has dual pads. It can do full Qi speed and it collapses down really compact. And then you have a stand to hold up your phone and it can hold up a pretty heavy phone even with a moment lens and all those things. And it's USB-C, so it's amazing. And it has a magnet on the back, so you're not gonna lose it. Of course, first aid kit. I have a CPR thing in here. I have like band-aids and all those essentials that when you're going places, you're gonna need like ibuprofen or antacinamin, just individual packets of it. So, because all the different things are labeled. Laptop case. What is your favorite tech accessory? Don't forget to like, share, and like if you liked it because it really does help. If you liked this, check out one of these videos.